these are all good books. These have all won the prize over a 24-year period, so we were reading 24 winners. And it's very hard to choose between works of history, um, voice-driven memoir, literary biography, reportage, and these, these are works in multiple and different forms. It's actually, the whole thing has been much, much more challenging than I think any of us expected. And I thought that reading 24 already you know, perfect books would be much more effortlessly difficult. We really put the question of literary merit at the front of our conversations around these books. We know that they're wonderfully researched, we know that they are terrific works of non-fiction, but it is also a literary prize, that's how it defines itself, and we thought it was very important that we also think about um, how well written, how well structured, how well put together the books were. We're trying to represent those different forms of non-fiction, from, you know, big monumental biographies to the more experimental type writing that you, we are now much more familiar with, I think. And the books that will stand the test of time are the ones that are not only very intelligent about whatever it is that they're grappling with, but are beautifully written, tell a really good story, bring characters to life, and are surprising in some way that make you look at the world in a different way.